Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha. Recently, there has been a great deal of unfortunate circumstance in regards to AAA companies and charity events, specifically with WB Games in particular. Now, for those of you that are not aware, recently the developers for the game Middle Earth Shadow of War decided to immortalize their friend and colleague Mike Forgey, who was stricken by an extremely aggressive form of brain cancer and passed away in 2016. Mike Forgey left behind a wife and children, and there is a charity set up for them, of which you will find a link to down in the description below. Now, the fourth Og Orc Slayer DLC introduced a sort of mysterious stranger style character into Mike Forgey's likeness, which was being sold for $5 and it was advertised that the proceeds would go to benefit Mike's family. However, the fine print stated that the charity donations would not come from six U.S. states or any countries outside of the U.S., and that only $3.50 out of that $5 would actually make it to Mike Forgey's family. As a result of this, seeming to be a bait-and-switch charity where WB appeared to be profiting off the death of a human being, Many people, myself included, spoke out against their actions, including their extremely vague statements that they would not profit by the sales made in other countries without stating exactly how that would be the case. However, it would seem that Blizzard has learned from their competitors' actions and have instituted their own charity sales to help those affected by natural disasters around the world, including Hurricanes Harvey and Irma. With a new animal companion that was posted on sale for World of Warcraft yesterday, Blizzard has posted the companion at a $10 price tag, stating that every last penny would go to these stated charities, and I will read off their statement here, although it seems to be slightly repetitive for some reason. Now, for every shadow pet purchased between September 12th, 2017 and December 31st, 2017, 100% of the adoption fee, $10 in the U.S., pricing varies by region, will be split equally between American Red Cross Disaster Relief and the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Society's Disaster Relief Fund to assist with relief efforts around the world. Blizzard will donate to the American Red Cross and IFRC 100% of sales for every charity pet sold between September 12th and December 31st. Proceeds will be split equally between both organizations. This purchase is not tax deductible. Blizzard is helping people affected by disasters big and small by making a gift to American Red Cross Disaster Relief and supporting international disaster response by supporting the IFRC Disaster Relief Emergency Fund. The American Red Cross and IFRC names are used with its permission, which in no way constitutes an endorsement expressed or implied of any product, service, company opinion, or political position. For more information about the Red Cross and the IFRC, please visit redcross.org or ifrc.org. Now, you'll notice there that even in that legalese down at the end, that there were no asterisks, no fine print, and no geographical limitations. None of the trappings that we saw from WB Gaming. With this statement, it is very much what you see what you get. However, it's worth stating though that Blizzard has an easier time of it, so they will definitely come across as a bit more magnanimous in this particular scenario. They do not have to worry about third-party distribution, so they don't have to pay for data hosting on other platforms or transactional fees. Also, Blizzard benefits very much from the fact that donations made to charities are, from a legality standpoint, far simpler than donations made to individuals. Reason being is that, at least within the U.S., donations made to a person or a family are not treated as donations by the government for tax purposes. They are treated as a gift, which, beyond specific amounts, there are much higher taxes leveraged against them. Now, regardless, it seems to be a good move on the part of Blizzard, and it allows World of Warcraft players to get a new pet and be able to help hurricane survivors at the same time. All in all, at least this time, I don't find much to fault in Blizzard's actions. And the companion itself is Shadow the Fox, an animal companion with a color-changing coat of fur that is applied to all characters, present and future, on a single Blizzard account. And, at least to my mind, it seems to be a bit overpriced, but as Blizzard isn't keeping any of the money, I can't find any real legitimate reason to complain about the value for what is provided. I will simply leave that up to those that will be making the decision on whether or not to purchase this newest companion for World of Warcraft. As always, please do feel free to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and I'll see you next time.